Hello and welcome. I'm Dr. Hans Lessman at the Vision Development Institute, and many patients ask me about this light therapy. What's it about? What's it do? How's it work? Why is it important? Number one, an old technology. It's, I started doing this back in 2006. What I found interesting is a number of our cases that didn't move very well or we were slow to respond to our vision therapy and our intervention when we introduced syntonics or light therapy or what's also referred to as optometric phototherapy, all of a sudden the patients took off. What was interesting when we first started is I had a lot of patients report to me that they were sleeping better. And when they slept better, obviously they felt better, but interestingly, they also would see better. So we're bringing into balance the autonomic nervous system. And that's the nervous system that runs your heart rate, your breathing, uh, digestion, uh, your sleep cycle, uh, and your endocrine system. And so that's hormones. If the nervous system's out of balance, and this is what I found with my other cases, that they didn't respond to the therapy as well because their system was off balance. And once we balanced their nervous system, their visual system worked a lot better and was a lot more responsive to the therapy and the activities that we had them do. Our nervous system kind of runs in two gears. One is the fast mode, which is fight or flight, and it gears the body for action, like to run away from danger. And when it does that, it sends blood to the muscles away from the gut, so it suppresses digestion, it suppresses sleep, suppresses pain, and it enhances motor function. The other uh, aspect of the nervous system is the parasympathetic, and that's for vitality. That's for healing, digestion, sleep, and uh, the endocrine system also. Some people get stuck in the fight or flight or the hyper part of the nervous system. Some people get stuck in the vitality or the parasympathetic, and they tend to be sluggish. Other folks in the sympathetic tend to be hyper. What optometric phototherapy does is through an evaluation, we can determine uh, to what degree the system is off balance and how it's off balance and prescribe a, a color regime that helps restore that balance. We're not trying to change their nervous system, we're just trying to use its God-given ability to function by helping it to recenter itself. The way we measure it, is, is what's called a functional color field. And the functional color field measures the sensitivity of the nervous system to colors in the periphery of one's vision. And when the system is stressed, that uh, sensitivity is reduced and hence the field is constricted. So they kind of have like tunnel vision in a functional sense. And so many of my patients that have panic attacks, especially driving, they have these narrow fields. When we use the light therapy, that's how we measure the progress, is retesting those functional color fields, and we should see those expand as they move through the program. If the patient responds to the, the syntonics or the light therapy, and those fields open up, it usually bodes well for the patient in terms of their prognosis and for their life. They just tend to feel better, they're more productive, uh, they're not hung up with so many things, uh, and especially with our kids, uh, they're more able to get their homework done, uh, they're less distracted. This is actually very old technology. It's more than a century old. One of the seminal pieces that was research that was done by Dr. Harry Riley Spittler, and this book was published in 1941. Okay, so this is not new technology, this is not a new concept, and the benefit of that is it's been around for so long, we've been able to understand more about it through using it over the years. And so it's a safer technology now because it has a lot of experience. Now, other interesting thing is Dr. John Ott, and he did the time-lapse photography uh, that was started back in the 50s for Disney and the Living Planet. And he did a lot of studying on how light affected physiology in plants and animals. And it's really incredible the difference in how he was able to make plants grow faster, slower, etc. So he could get good pictures. He was just looking to get good pictures. There he did a movie 
showing how the mice, when they were raised under fluorescent lights, uh, that they didn't live as long, that their hair fell out and their tails fell off. And when they restored the light, uh, they lived longer, they had health, healthier fur and their tails stayed on. He did one in the classroom where he showed uh, under fluorescent light and then they put uh, radiation shields on, on the light and see, observed how the classroom behaved. And there was one child that was falling off of his chair. Apparently he had a, a, a reading problem that was labeled as dyslexic. And after he restored the normal light in the classroom, he settled down. He actually moved to the front of the room and within three months he was reading. Uh, so light is really an important component of how we feel our health and our behavior. Uh, and so we find that when we treat the imbalances that our patients have, that they're more resilient, uh, regardless of the light environment they find themselves in, uh, to be able to function more appropriately. Another good reference for this is just, this was just put out, a Nadi Martel in light therapy and the complete guide to the healing power of light. Reference, you can get this on Amazon. There's really a lot out there now, and there's getting more and more interest in the research about the, the biology and the light effect. And it doesn't take much to start a metabolic reaction. So the light isn't what necessarily heals the person. What it does is it generates a reaction, a metabolic process, a physiological process, a healing process of the body to do its own God-given ability to heal. So it's really an encouragement and an initiation and once that's initiated, the body takes care of itself. And so usually these treatment regimes are not something that needs to be repeated over time. It's pretty much a one and done thing. And once the nervous system is reset or rebalanced, um, it stays that way because then it knows. For whatever reason, it gets knocked off. People ask, well, why? How did this happen? Injuries can make it happen. Trauma can make it happen. Um, Emotional events can make it happen. Chemical events can make it happen. But we don't know exactly why. We just measure the status of when you come in and prescribe a plan to re reestablish that balance. And when we reestablish that balance, people tend to feel better and see better. The other thing some of you may have seen on, on Facebook, there's Vision Therapy Parents Unite. A lot of the parents talk on there about other practitioners that are doing syntonics and highly uh, suggest that you look into that because they found with their loved one that that really helped them move along. Feel free to call our office if you have any questions or if you'd like to schedule an appointment so we can uh, evaluate your situation and see if this is something appropriate for you. Once you start seeing better, that tends to relieve a lot of stress and when you relieve that stress, uh, it's better for your health. It's a powerful tool. People are surprised at the effects that they feel from it, and they are long lasting uh, for most cases. Thanks for listening. We look forward to working with you.